When you're using Google to find information for your academic projects, you may find that you want to do some fairly complex searching. In this first demo, we'll look at how Google handles your search terms and how it uses AND, OR, and NOT, and by the way, you'll hear those called Boolean operators, as well as exact phrase searching. First, of course, always keep in mind that Google is a commercial search engine, and it makes its money by selling your attention to advertisers. So, for example, if I search for wind energy, it will prominently display ads from companies who have paid to get good spots over there at the top and on the right. Now, a word about those ads. If you have any kind of Google account for Gmail or Google Docs or whatever, Google will keep you signed in so that it can collect information about your interests and use that to target you with ads. There's no way to not get ads at all, but if you want at least a little more privacy protection, just make sure you're signed out while you're searching. Okay, back to my search. As you type, Google will suggest some searches by showing the most common similar searches that others have done. They do show the one I'm looking for, residential, so I'll just grab that. Also notice that with some searches, at the bottom of the first page of results, Google will again show searches that other people have done that are similar to yours. It's worth looking at. You might get some more ideas about your search. For example, if I'm researching wind energy, I might also want to make sure I'm looking for wind power, or wind turbines, or perhaps windmills. Now take a closer look at the search statement. When Google searches, it looks for web pages that have all of your terms. In this case, the word wind, and the word energy, and the word residential, somewhere on the web page. It's including an automatic AND, again that's one of those Boolean operators, into the search that we don't see. Be aware that Google is also automatically including related terms in your search. It doesn't tell us exactly what those terms are, but from looking at the results, we can see that although I asked for wind energy, it seems to have included wind power, and it's probably also recognizing that home is a related term for residential. Now sometimes it's useful to force Google to search your terms as an exact phrase instead of using that automatic AND. If I search for imaginary friends, I get over 17 million results that have the word imaginary and also the word friends. If you put your phrase in quotation marks, that tells Google to find pages that have exactly what's inside the quotes. And it found the exact phrase, imaginary friends, on about a million web pages. So using an exact phrase can help with more precision in your search. But I'm going to go back to that automatic anded search for the moment, because I want to talk about using ORs in Google. Remember that Google automatically includes some related terms in the search, but we don't know what they are. It might be including terms like imagination with imaginary and friendship with friends, but we aren't sure. You might want to take control and add in some related terms yourself using OR. For example, another term people use for imaginary friends is imaginary companions. So I'll add that in with an OR. The capitalized OR is the signal to Google to find pages with either word on each side of the OR. So now I've told it to find web pages that have the word imaginary and also either the word friends or the word companions. Now combining ORs and phrases can get a little tricky and it's something you'll probably do a lot. So notice what's going on with this search. If I search capital punishment or death penalty, remember that the OR signals Google to find either word on each side of the OR. So technically, this is looking for web pages that have the word capital and also the word punishment or death and also the word penalty. So when you're using phrases like this, it can help to use those quotation marks to clarify what you really want. Okay, here's another example so that we can talk about the not feature. I've asked for web pages that have the word cougars and either the word Oregon or the phrase Washington State and I'm using the phrase Washington State so that I don't get things about legislation in Washington, D.C. And I'm getting lots of results about cougars, the sports teams, instead of cougars, the wild animals. And I'd like to get rid of those. In Google, the not feature is a minus sign 
attached to the word you want to exclude. So if I put minus sports in my search, now I've told Google to gather up any web pages that talk about cougars and either Oregon or Washington State, and then to throw out any that also have the word sports. And now I'm getting better results. I still do have this one about basketball and I can keep giving it more things to discard. I'll try minus basketball, and for good measure I'll put in minus football, and that seems to have done the trick. All of my results are now about cougars, the wild animals. Now I'm going to put in a few more terms here. Google might already be including the term pumas as a related term, but I don't know for sure, so I'll put it in myself, along with the term mountain lions. I wanted to point out that as your search gets more complicated, you might want to group your terms with parentheses. It won't make any difference to Google, but it will help keep things clear for yourself. Now Google also has an advanced search, and we'll use that for our last search. It's under this gear icon. Now if you're at a page where you don't see the gear icon, look for the settings link down here, and you can get to advanced search that way as well. So here's an example using the advanced search. In the All These Words box, I've asked for pages that have both the word women and the word Oregon. Here's where we can put in our exact phrase. I want pages that also include the exact phrase domestic violence. And in the Any of These Words, these are our ORs. So I would like pages that talk about incarceration or imprisonment, or prison, or jail, any of those terms. And I am interested in adult women, so I'm going to th ask it to throw out any pages that talk about juvenile, teenager, or adolescent. And we scroll down and click Advanced Search. When it does the search, see how it shows the commands we discussed. It's using that capitalized OR to include all these terms for the idea of imprisonment. It's used quotation marks for the exact phrase, and it's using that minus sign attached to any words we want to exclude. Now in my results, I'm getting a lot of items about women as victims, and what I really wanted here was women offenders. So I'll adjust that in my search now, and include women offenders as a phrase. And I might even want to make sure it's including the term female offenders if people use that one. Again, as your search gets more complicated, you might want to put in those parentheses just to help you keep things straight. So there are some Google search features for you to experiment with as you get into some serious searching for your academic work. Remember that it's targeting you with ads. You might want to take control of your privacy. It automatically does an AND search to find pages with all of your terms unless you specify otherwise and it's also searching for whatever it considers to be related terms. You can take control of those related terms by using OR. You can discard pages with a term by putting a minus sign in front of the word you don't want, and that you can force it to search for an exact term or phrase by using quotation marks. But that's just the start. The next video, Using Limits in Google, will go over lots of great ways to pin those Google results down to the best material for your academic projects. And as always, if you have any trouble finding good quality information for your research project, be sure to ask your librarian.